the gate to Crimea now after a missile strike by Ukraine on Thursday. It's one of a handful of links connecting the Crimean Peninsula and mainland Ukraine. The bridge was closed and traffic diverted onto a longer route after the strike. Russian officials claim British-made Storm Shadow missiles were used in the attack. There are also claims that the missiles were French-made. For Kyiv, it could amount to a strategic advantage amid an ongoing counteroffensive. For Moscow, this could mean delays for the Russian military to move between Crimea and the parts of mainland Ukraine that are under its control. According to our information, the leadership of the Ukraine Armed Forces plans to strike at the territory of Russian Federation, including Crimea, with HIMARS and Storm Shadow missiles. The use of those missiles outside the Special Military Operations Zone would amount to a large-scale engagement in the conflict by the United States and Britain. It would trigger immediate strikes on the decision-making centers on the territory of Ukraine. And also warnings from Ukraine's president, who says the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant may be Russia's next target. Now our intelligence has received information that Russia is considering the scenario of a terrorist act at the Zaporozhia nuclear plant, a terrorist act with the release of radiation. They have prepared everything for this. Unfortunately, I have repeatedly had to remind that radiation has no state borders and who it will hit is determined only by the wind direction. We share all available information with our partners, everyone in the world, all the evidence. Europe, America, China, Brazil, India, the Arab world, Africa, all countries, absolutely, everyone should know this. Large-scale critical infrastructure is increasingly being targeted in this war. Earlier in June, the Kakovka Dam in Kherson was destroyed in a suspected Russian operation. It caused deadly flooding, threatened drinking water supplies and unleashed an environmental catastrophe. In October, another vital link between the Crimean Peninsula and the mainland was blown up in what was believed to be a Ukrainian operation. Responsibility for these attacks are often not claimed, but it seems that in this phase of the war, the motive is to inflict as much damage as possible. A war of attrition that's now entered its 16th month. Rahul Radhakrishnan, TRT World.